No, honey, honey. Good evening from Red Cannon Cats. Today is um, October 29th, 2012, and we are trying to do a brief video. I decided we've got all the kittens together here. We were trying to do photos, please. Um, and um, through Atkins So Goofy, we just decided to do the video here. Um, from left to right, I think we've got Keith. first is Keith, then we've got um, Faith. Faith in the middle, Nick. Nix is the third one over, and then we've got Michaela, who is number four. Um, they are actually almost 12 weeks old. They were born just July 31st, and um, we're, they're just all wonderful, sweet kittens. They're well adjusted, um, playful, sweet, a um, little bit of personality about each one, I guess. Um, starting with Keith at the end, he's, <laughs> he's, he's the, probably the quietest of the bunch. Um, very sweet, very affectionate. Um, he's also he, the largest. Oh, by far the largest. He's, he was a tank when he was born, and he continues to be a tank. Um, he's very heavy. I mean, if you're looking at him visually, they probably all all look the same. But you pick him up. There's mom, by the way. <laughs> Hello, mom. It's mom Reagan. Um, if you pick him up, you can definitely tell the difference. Um, I mean, they're all nice sized kittens, but he's got the weight. Definitely has the weight behind him. Um, he's a kit. He's a lap kitten. And Grant, be careful. And um, just a sweet, sweet boy. And then we next we've got little Faith there, and um, she's our only girl out of the out of the four. Um, we did. We we had a litter of five. Um, unfortunately, one of our little girls, she was a little Torby, beautiful little girl, died at um, about two weeks of age. Just shy of two weeks. Anyway. Um, I'm hypnotizing that. I can see that. Okay, Faith is, she's like, she's very sweet, very affectionate, probably, I would I would say probably the most independent of the four. I would also um, say the most fluffiest. Oh, she definitely, a fluff, she's got the fluff factor, she very <laughs> much got the fluff factor, which is good for a Norwegian forest cat. Let's try to keep them up there. Um, hi. And... Go. <laughs> there she goes. Um, she's probably a little more independent. Her and Michaela, um, the, little, right the big one, next, this one right here. Um, those two are like, we have like two sets of twins here. Michaela and Faith are one set of twins. And um, then we've got Keith and Nix who are our other s twins. They're not identical, but it's more a figure of their patterns are so much alike that when they were really little it was kind of hard to tell them apart we can now um but anyway faith and michaela are i, I still I, they're very close if she's close to anybody it would be michaela um but on the other hand she's also very independent you'll often find the boys together and you'll often find um faith off doing her own thing um but she's <laughs> But she's sweet and affectionate. She'll sit on your lap. She loves to be held. Um, but she's also good by herself, which is um, a good thing. Um, very sweet. I would say... <laughs> oh, look at Keith. <laughs> um, I would say that um, next to Keith, she'd be the next more quiet one. She's, But she's very playful, and you'll often find her she, running around being a crazy little girl. Um, next to her is Michaelo, right there. He's the one grabbing the um, toy. He is. Um, <laughs> he looks. If you look at him visually, he looks very, very unbalanced, um, which the layman would look at and think that's not a good thing. Um, I, as a breeder, look at him and know that this little boy is going to grow into that body. You can tell right here. He's got very large feet. He's got long legs, um, long, long body. Um, look at those eyes, they're just huge. Um, they look, they just look out of proportion to the rest of his face. <laughs> Sweet Muffin. Um, but eventually this boy's gonna grow into this body. Um, it'll probably be a long time. I would, my guess would be, well, after he's neutered, I would say probably a year and a half, two years, minimum. Um, but I can see what he's got going for him. 
Um, he's going to be a very, very large, very, very nice Ouija. He's also probably the most <laughs> outgoing, biggest, the biggest ra rascal we've got out of the four. <laughs> he's always into something. Um, he, ru he runs around the house like a madman chasing me. Um, his favorite place in the whole wide world is to be on, my, on top of my shoulders. And his method of getting up there is by um, using your pants as a ladder. <laughs> yeah, when he was when he was littler, he would start at the bottom of my pant leg and, and climb up until he got to the top. And, and well, until he got till I picked him up, and and then he would then he would lay on my shoulder. Now he comes running and with a flying leap grabs onto my leg <laughs> and starts climbing the rest of the way. It's pretty funny, actually, although I do have a lot of little scratches on my legs. <laughs> Quite a few, actually, but it's funny. <laughs> um, and he will probably stop doing this when he can climb yeah, to the counter on his own. He does. And then you've got, and then you've got Nix, who... When he, when he was the when he was younger, I gotta look at photos, but he did not have that little snot smart spot right by his nose. Hey, honey, see that? Michaela just grabbed my cam my my um camera. But just in the last two three weeks, three weeks maybe, um, Nix has started developing that little spot on his nose right there. Nix. Well, anyway, it's there. At first, I thought, I thought, do you have a runny nose? You know, trying to clean it off, and it wasn't coming off. And then I'm looking at it, and I couldn't wipe it off. And but I thought, but that wasn't there before. Well, anyway, it's it appears to be permanent. So we will just we'll just kind of laugh about that. It's funny. Anyway. I think those long links. I just think that's so cute. Um. Anyway, he's got. He also. He he's pretty outgoing, or I wouldn't say outgoing, I'd say he's, I mean, he's very sweet and affectionate, but I would guess that in the long run, as especially as he gets older, he's, he's going to be very um, attached to his family and to his master, but um, I don't think he'll be the kind of kitten that'll want, like, go running up to all your guests and say, howdy, you know, who are you? Um, but he's, but he's very attentive and affectionate to his family. Very much so. Michaela, on the other hand, I think that he's going to just be um, friendly with anybody and everybody that enters the house. Kind of like the lab. Though, like yeah, a like lab a dog. Will, yeah, like a lab. <laughs> they'll, go, they'll go up to a burglar and say, and say, you want me to show you where all the, where all the valuable stuff is? That's so friendly. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nix is also very um, playful. Him and, him and Michaela are always into something. And, um, which is lots of fun. Um, but there's daddy over hmm. there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's dad. He's chasing the toy, too. Anyway. Oh, there goes honey, honey. Faith is coming down. Faith is saying, adios, amigo. Um, he wants the toy, which dad Oh, is that it? Dad. There, oh, well, I got it. And, of course, there's more. All right, well, um, Grant, do you have anything to add about this sweet little litter? Um, They're all red and white. Um, whenever we're really sad that our hero Holly went five weeks old, even though she was the third biggest. Well, she was about two weeks. She was just shy of two weeks old. And yes, we're sad about that. Yeah, she but she's was up the in third heaven. And, biggest, and like, she was the one that died. She was a beautiful girl, there's no question. And a sweet, spunky little girl. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, they are red and white Norwegian forest cat kittens, um, just shy of 12 weeks old. They're all sweet, wonderful babies. Let's go catfishing. They are. And we were Looks like I caught a teeth fish. Oh, darn it, it let go. Anyway, there you have it. This is a little bit different than the typical video we do. But, um, catfish. But, um... We thought this might work out, and um, I hope you're enjoying them. Exactly. If you want to see more photos, you can look at our website at www.redcanyoncats.com. And um, that's it. Good night from Red Canyon Cats. Whee!